But the final moments of the Chandrayaan 2 landing on the south pole of the moon were extremely crucial. As K. Sivan, the chief of the Indian Space Agency, said before, those were a terrifying 15 minutes after the rough breaking phase. ISRO, however, lost communication with the Vikram lander. K. Sivan said that the last communication from the lander came in at an altitude of 2.1 kilometers from the surface of the moon. 400 meters. And uh, if you look at the plots, we are seeing. Vikram lander descent was as planned and normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 kilometer. Subsequently, the communications from the lander to ground station was lost. Unlike Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2 aimed to land on the unexplored side of the moon. Soon after, ISRO lost communication with the lander. Prime Minister Modi sounded a word of encouragement for the scientists. He congratulated them and reiterated that this mission is already a major achievement. He encouraged them to take it in their stride and asked them to remain courageous. The Chandrayaan-2 mission might not have gone as planned, but it won many hearts, wishes and support are pouring in. Home Minister Amit Shah said that ISRO's achievement with getting Chandrayaan-2 so far has made every Indian proud. He added that India stands with the hard-working scientists of ISRO. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman tweeted, and I quote, You have brought the nation, its young minds and all together in sensing your achievements in space. You will succeed. Unquote. Opposition lawmaker and former president of the Congress party, Rahul Gandhi, congratulated the Indian space team. He said that the Chandrayaan-2 mission has opened paths for many more path-breaking and ambitious Indian space missions. President of the Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh, also took to Twitter to laud Isro's efforts. His tweet read, and I quote here, with Chandrayaan-2, India has made history. Whatever the final outcome, landing a probe on the moon is no mean feat. I applaud and commend the efforts of PM Modi and Isro for their hard work to further the cause of human scientific progress. Unquote. Former President of Sri Lanka, Mahindra Rajapaksha, said that the mission was not a failure, but a successful step towards reaching the ultimate goal. He added that it was an incredibly proud moment for South Asia. The Prime Minister of Bhutan, Lothe Chering, showed his support for India's space mission. He said, and I quote, We are proud of India and its scientists today. Chandrayaan-2 saw some challenges last minute, but the courage and hard work you have shown are historical. Knowing Prime Minister Narendra Modi, I have no doubt he and his ISRO team will make it happen one day, unquote.